Let's wait for more people to join the stream. The lighting here is so much better than inside. Hey, welcome to the stream. Welcome, bro. What up, Sean? Ken Jam 2019 in Singapore. I'm gonna take you guys on a short tour. Okay, so I've I've walked the grounds a bit, and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys straight to the booths, uh, and show you some products that are new. Because some brands, I I just learned that some brands have released some wireless offerings. So it's pretty exciting. I'm gonna show you. Hey, yeah, bro, it's uh, it's a little quiet right now. But I'm expecting a lot more people to come and so far I'm liking I'm liking the exhibits. Some brands didn't have wireless offerings last year, but they just got some new products coming out this year and pretty excited to show you guys what what they're all about. Yeah man, it's dope. Okay, so we just wait for more people to join. Then you know what? Let's just go. All right. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what the ground looks like. Yeah, so this is the ground game, boys. Let's head inside. Hey, Adrian. Adrian, Sammy, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's okay. We'll we'll just start right now. Okay, first off, nearest to the door, got Bear Dynamic. You're welcome, man. It's pretty exciting stuff. Ken Jam 2019. Of course, this show is for audiophiles, so you expect to see a lot of wired products. Wireless products are more common now, though. Okay, I know Bayer Dynamic has this product called Zelento. I'm just looking for. Hi. Can I take a look at the new? Yeah. Can I take a look at the Zelento wireless. Yep. Right. So guys, this is Bayer Dynamic Zelento Wireless, super expensive product, super expensive. How much is the price? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just speaking in context of true wireless earbuds or wireless earbuds in general. But these ones are 1599. Uh, of course, Singapore dollars, so we're looking at a thousand bucks USD. Bros, thousand bucks. And this, but this, as I understand it, I tried it last year, it sounds really good. Yeah, yeah so you gotta pay, you gotta invest a bit more if you want the quality, yo. You pay what you get. You pay what you get, that's right. I'll be back to enjoy you again. Okay, but. I'm moving on to the next booth. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, bros, and yep. Let me take you to another booth. You guys, some of you requested that I review one more. So we have one more here. One more, one more. Okay, the thing about one more is right now they're showcasing a range of wired products. Chester. <laughs> it's my friend Chester here. Hey. hey. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hey, how are you doing, Drew? Drew Payan. 
Welcome to Ken Jam 2019. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the camera back so you can see what I'm talking about. This is one more. Okay. They are showcasing their range of wired products right now, but as I understand it, they have a range of hey, that's great, good to know you're doing awesome. They have a range of wireless products coming up soon. Okay. So these are the wired ones. Some of you wanted me to review one more product. That is in the pipeline. As soon as they release that wireless range, I will review. Okay. Of course, you have Quad Electronics. Audio files love Quad because of this product. This is the Quad Poly Mojo. Quad Mojo Poly. Sorry. Quad Mojo Poly Portable Headphone Amp. So the Mojo itself is an amp, but the Poly gives it wireless capabilities. Nice product. Okay. But just between you and me, just between you and me, the Cod Mojo Poly runs a little hot. Okay, so if you have it in your pocket, it's really going to burn a hole in your pocket. Yeah, man. Air power is dead. And uh, the reason is really lame. Apple said that or rather, what I saw on Reddit was uh, they couldn't meet their very own high standards for the product, so that's why it's killed off. But that's super lame, man. So looking forward to that. Okay, now back to the show. Esther and Kern, famous for their... Oh my god, look at this. This is a gold-plated... Gold plated wireless. Oh. I'm holding a gold bar in my hand. <laughs> yeah, um, dude, I reviewed the Galaxy Buds. They're pretty cool. I actually like them. If not for the fact that the battery life isn't that great. We're talking about 13 hours after all, uh, which was pretty accurate. I tried them. Galaxy Buds was pretty cool, uh, 13 hours. I think though is that uh, the latency. <laughs> when you watch videos with them, it's not too bad because YouTube sort of compensates for the... Oh, Galaxy Buds versus Jaybird Run. Uh, I would have to give it to the Galaxy Buds. Jaybird Runs sound like crap. I'm not even kidding. They sound like crap out of the box. Then you have to go into the app, the My Sound app to tune. Sorry, the My Sound app to tune them, EQ them, and then they sound okay. But otherwise, hey, yeah, man, Sean. But I've got two wireless chargers lying at home. I barely use them. I only use them for the earbuds. So air power is something that I can readily forget about. It's just that they've been promising people about air power for so long. Okay, let me spin you back around. Sorry the video is a little shaky because I don't have a stabilizer. I'm just using a Gorilla Pot. Okay, and then we have Sennheiser, of course. <laughs> hey, you're welcome, dude. And thank you for your trust. Thank you. No worries. Okay, Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless. This is something that you guys should be very familiar with. Momentum True Wireless. Uh, bro, can I ask you about uh, the True Wireless? Can you tell me... Okay, I am aware that the earbuds have an issue. They... They do not... Uh, go into standby mode when you put them in the case. You have to disconnect the earbuds from your phone first. Okay, so the app has a new update. Yes. 
So it actually soft. I mean, what happens previously is that some people might face a bit on the battery issue. Yeah. So, okay. But now with the new update, it actually helps in solving the issues. Okay, that is great. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Okay, so you heard it from the guy. He says that a new software update has solved that uh, issue, the momentum wireless. Um, yeah, I am on Instagram. Not many people follow me on Instagram though. Um, er, uh, okay, hang on. Let me just go into my Instagram account. I think it's Aaron Loud and Wireless. Ah, uh, never mind. I search for Aaron Loud and Wireless. Uh, no space. So you heard the guy, Sennheiser rep said that Momentum True Wireless software update has solved the issue. So I'm just gonna later on uh, head back home. Yeah, I will. Adrian the genius. Okay. So I'm gonna head back home, update it, and then test it. Test it for myself. Because I don't really know if it's bullshit, <laughs> but you know, who knows, right? Okay, so the other Sennheiser products on display here. Okay, these are the audiophile range. So if you're an audiophile, you want more control over your music, you know, you want wired, this is it. They've got a 600 HD 650, HD 660s. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they have the PXC 550 here though. Are you guys displaying the PXC 550 here? No. All right, so this is more for like audiophiles. Cool, cool. All right. That guy was pretty rude. He didn't get up and tell me and ask me questions. He just sat there and shook his head. But it's okay, you know. My heart is made of steel. Okay, for all of you who joined the stream, just joined the stream, welcome. I'm a Ken Gen. Oh yeah, man, that was really bad service. He was just sitting there, you know. So, as a millennial, even that was rude. <laughs> okay, so these are the other brands. Uh, Chinese brands are overrepresented here. We have a lot of brands from China. Great brands. Like this entire row here, I believe most of them are uh, China based. Hey Drew, I would love to go to the United States someday. Uh, I haven't been there. Uh, I am quite familiar with the geography and the politics and the peep. people, yeah. Like, uh, the people in New York City are quite different from the people in LA, as far, what I, as far as what I know. Tell me in the comment section if I'm wrong, okay? I think New Yorkers are a lot more brash and they are a lot more honest and more straightforward. That's just my impression. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I feel that New Yorkers are quite different from Singaporeans. Singaporeans, we are a lot more reserved and we don't really dare to express our opinion in front of people, uh, which makes me a unique breed. I guess I express my opinion all the time. Okay, let's get back to the show. Oh, 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 oh. Do you guys want to see the most expensive portable music player? <laughs> hey, Kelly. How's the weather like in California now? Is it hot? Is it cold? Heck yes. <laughs> so I want to show you guys what the most expensive portable music player looks like. This is the Sony DMP21. Tell me the price, bro. Do you know the price? Hmm? You're not selling this. This is just for show. You're selling earphones. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, um, what I remember is when I was at the Sony event, they were saying that this costs $10,000. Right, this is seriously no joke. Seriously no joke. Um, and how it's, okay, it's portable like this. 
You carry it around in a briefcase. I'm not kidding. They actually pack a briefcase with this, and uh, you will have to plug it into a power source. Does this run on battery? Do you know if this runs on battery? Does this run on battery? Battery powered? Okay, so I got to uh, speak to them in Chinese. Okay. Okay. Okay, how the Okay, how the Okay, Okay, how the Okay, Okay, how the Okay, how the Okay, Okay, so what they said is uh, there's a battery inside, you can carry it around, use it uh, on its own, but you can also plug in power if you need it to be powered like that. Okay, I think the Sony people can tell us because these, these, those guys, they were not from Sony, but the Sony people could tell us maybe. Hi, uh, hello, I'm live streaming, sorry about that, uh, but can you tell me about the DMP21. Can you tell me about the DMP21? Like, uh, what's the battery life like? How much it costs? Okay. Use it without passing, without plugging in the electricity. The okay, so without plugging in electricity, it's 10 hours, 10 hours of battery life. Correct. Oh. So, uh, the, what, what, what was the selling point is that basically the deck, the deck okay. and M is actually separated from the power source. Okay, yeah. so, so the we, all right. So basically, that will reduce static, so-called uh, distortion setting and give boost clarity for that because the circuitry is different. There's two types, so there's one over here and one at okay. the bottom. All right. So let's take a first. And also, this one has a touch screen. <laughs> one of the first one with a touch screen selection, which is used for with our high res our high res player. Okay, so touch screen. Yeah. Then also, wow. this one has a gold plated mouth. Then also, it has. Gold plated? This is gold plated. Uh, yes. Then also, on top of that, this one is oh using the balance and unbalanced yeah. cable. And also, the it allows mem SD card storage. SD card storage? Two micro SD. Okay. Yeah, internally, it's 256. Okay, internal storage 256. 256. Is yes. Yeah, man, Drew, this is awesome. Uh, you want to try? I would love to if I have yeah. to. But I, I can't oh. <laughs> I mean, maybe later. Yeah. Ten, how much does it cost? Uh, it's about 10999 And now, we also today, we also have uh, engineers from so the, the engineers who created okay. the, the system here. Oh. So if you have any, also any uh, feedback, or any feedback, or after testing, or any questions, more in-depth questions, you can actually ask them also. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing. That's okay. nice. Uh, does it have wireless output or the wireless okay. output? No. This one is recommended to be more direct. More, direct. And more yeah. pro, but this okay. one has a Bluetooth option here. Let's show you. Uh, okay. a, yeah. So if you want it, 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 you can actually do it wirelessly, but okay. of course uh, compared to a direct sound the quality will be different. Because okay. wireless there's a Bluetooth there's a limitation to how much uh, how much so called how much it can transmit per Via wirelessly compared to a direct connection. Okay. Mm. Correct. They ha does that has does have the option, but it's just that uh, we will recommend to be plug in directly. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So over here, Bluetooth, you can add devices, so you can connect to Bluetooth headset or. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah, no Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, Rose, that was 10 triple nine Singapore dollars, so uh, 8,000 USD. I'm just doing the sums in my head. I may be wrong, but 8,000 bucks. You carry around in a briefcase, you set it up, you listen to your music. I mean, I can't imagine a situation where I have to carry that thing around. But who knows, maybe, you know, if you're someone who must have that extra muscle everywhere you go, but that thing, gold-plated knobs, you know, the circuitry. Yeah, bro. 
that was super expensive. I remember that the price is uh, ten thousand Singapore dollars, but it's ten triple nine, so it's about eight thousand USD. It's crazy. You should try it. I mean, if you're in the States, try it out because it sounds, I mean, music that comes from that thing sounds really good. It sounds really good. Okay, so I guess, oh, let me show you something. Okay, some brands that didn't have wireless headphones before now have wireless products. One such brand is Foco. Foco. So Foco, this is the new range of wireless products. The uh, Foco Wireless Listen, okay, available in different colors. It's for a different audience. All right, this is me. Okay, so this is the Foco. Yeah. This is new, okay. Last year, they didn't have this. This is entirely new. I would love to try this for myself. And the build quality, it feels really sturdy. Really sturdy. Uh, I can't remember how much this costs. Okay, this is going for 439. 439, okay. So in US dollars, probably around $300. Bone conducting headphones, bro. Uh, bone conducting uh, headphones. Okay. You know, let me just turn the camera around. I can't really give you my opinion about bone conducting headphones because I haven't tried them. Uh, but the, I've read reviews, watched videos about about bone conducting headphones. Basically, if you want that, okay, the volume is a, is a concern. They are, uh, what I know is that they aren't very loud. They also have very little bass, but they do work as like voice communication, uh, a method of communicating vocals without uh, using your ear canals. I don't know what I'm, I say it makes sense. But that's all I know about bone conducting headphones. Yeah? So what did Lou say? I want box therapy too. And some of the gadgets they try are kind of let me just set this down and spin the camera around. Some of the gadgets I've seen on Unbox Therapy is really weird, like the... Uh, rec okay, not recent, last year they reviewed something. Lou unboxed something which is like a, a charger, as in it charges your devices using kinetic energy. <laughs> that one didn't work very well. But I watch a lot of Unbox Therapy. What do you think about that new setup though? The, um, that three, that 180 degree stage. Oh yeah, yeah. Some of them are pretty funny. In fact, that's why I watch Unbox Therapy. Because Lou is a funny guy. He's a short guy though. He's probably about my height. 168 cm. 5 feet. Five feet two? Yeah, I'm pretty short. Thanks, bro. Ah, you know, being a YouTuber in Singapore is really hard. Uh, being from Singapore, I, you know, my accent, not a lot of people can get my accent. People are more familiar, like, if I hear uh, someone from the US uh, speaking to me immediately I can understand exactly what he says and everything you know but if I were to talk to him he might not get what I say most of the time I don't know but do I make sense like yeah thanks bro it's a uh, it's hard but it's the journey that counts, right? Okay, so we've been here before. Okay. Let's 
continue on with our journey. You know what? I wasn't thinking of taking you guys upstairs because there isn't a lot to show upstairs. Sorry, the video is a little shaky because I'm not using a stabilizer. But I'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys what's up, okay? This is the Pan Pacific Hotel, Singapore. Yeah, so I was saying it's a little hard uh, to understand what I'm saying sometimes because of my accent. My accent is, you know, you don't hear it very often. But I can understand perfectly what you guys are saying. So Drew, you're from California. Which part, LA? Are you from LA or are you from Sacramento? I first found out about Sacramento when I was a kid. I used to watch a lot of WWE. And Ken Shamrock, remember the guy? Ken Shamrock. Ventura, a north, an hour's north of uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, an hour by car. Okay. Yeah, man, Ken Shamrock, ah, the most dangerous man in the world. <laughs> okay, so I'm upstairs and this is it. Yeah, Sean. Ken Shamrock's the bomb. I watch a lot of Unbox Therapy. I watch MKBHD sometimes. I watch um, Peter McKinnon. He's from Canada. But he makes awesome videos, awesome bureau. And his friend, Maddie Hapoya. Yeah. Undertaker. Stacks. So these are like really for audio files. Painfully, no, no, I don't. I don't watch that. You think I should watch painfully on a stack? Probably then. I'll go check it out. But yeah, I remember the Undertaker. Dude. So I started watching him uh, when he was still the phenom. As in the... You do? But what do I cover most of the time? Uh, general tech or... Okay, you know what? Um, the thing about the chewing gum law is that it was... Uh, the law was passed in response... To, yeah, I know. Uh, the, the law was passed in response to people sticking chewing gum everywhere. I remember as a kid, when chewing gum wasn't, uh, wasn't banned, I used to step a lot on chewing gum and gum would stick to my shoes. I sat on chewing gum once and it was really disgusting. So when the law was passed that you can't chew gum in Singapore, I didn't have any negative feelings towards that law. But right now though, uh, you can't buy chewing gum in Singapore. Oh yeah, yes. but it was a long time ago. Right now you can't buy chewing gum in Singapore, but uh, you can chew gum if you already have them. So if you hop over to Malaysia, and you buy gum, and you bring it back to Singapore to chew, no one's gonna say anything but dispose of it properly. <laughs> you can buy medicinal chewing gum, like for, uh, for people who want to quit smoking. Yeah, there's nicotine, nicotine chewing gum. Yeah, you can buy that. It's over the counter at pharmacies, in the pharmacy. So audio fly, audio fly is the brand. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Singapore is an island, so uh, there's ocean to the south of us, and to the east and the west. Okay, so this is audio fly. Have we already? Uh, seen this. So Audiofly is a brand uh, that 
It's pretty new in the local scene. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand before. So they have a range of wireless earbuds. Wireless earbuds. It's pretty cool. Cool stuff. Okay, I'll be back to try. Hey, welcome to the stream. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know. And it's not really possible for me to try right now because um, it's hard to set the camera down somewhere where I can. Yeah. But you know what? Um, let, me, let me just run back in and grab a car. Hi, who do I speak to if I want to try the wireless earbuds? Uh, sure. Okay, I'm not going to try them today, but um, I'm a tech reviewer. And I would like to give this once a go, like maybe uh, you guys could send me a product that I could try. Maybe? Yeah? Do you have a name card? You can get in touch. Oh, okay. So you're only based in Australia right now? So we're an Australian based company, but we do distribute to various channels across the world. Um, That's great. The purpose of being in Singapore really is to break new ground here as well. So I see. This is the first generation of true wireless products that we have. It's called the AFT1. Okay. Thank you. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'll get in touch with you. And uh, do you have a distributor in Singapore yet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, cool. Alright. How how expensive are they? Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's a very reasonable yeah. price point for the sound quality, we believe. Um, and aesthetically as well, you'll notice that it's a, it's a very slim line device too. Okay. So what we're trying to, to achieve there is trying to hit sort of both bases. So we've got slim line features with high-end audio as well. With the right sort of price point, we believe this is going to be our one of our top sellers, 100%. Yeah, it's at the right price. Uh, it, it, we so. Believe so. And one of the other key features as well is what we're trying to do with the side of the, and the aesthetics is, is to try and incorporate an Australian feel. Yeah, so it's kind of... Most of the beaches in Australia will have more to this colour. Yep. Um, and then what we're trying to incorporate is the, the red outback dirt with the sand um, and the eucalypt as well. Yeah, you know, she may be. Okay. Place. So we're, we're trying to incorporate all of the Australian lifestyle colours into our products. Mm. Um, and the feedback that we get from our consumers. It's mm. awesome. Okay. Great product, great design, great but I foresee that this might be one of your more popular uh, products. We think so. We think so. <laughs> so, so we've only just released the FT1. This is uh, our first venture into, uh, into this field. I believe it's going to be a strong contender. That's great. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I'll know. be in touch with you. Excellent. Have a great day. You too, man. Yes. Okay, it's Australian. This, so, Audioply is an Australian brand. And that wasn't too bad, isn't it? The price was like, what, 130, 120. Could you compare IFR USB bridge to uptone audio? <laughs> Good day, mate. Where is that? Where's IFI audio? I might have to look for it though. <laughs> Good day, mate. Have you been to Australia? I've only been to, uh, okay, I've been to Brisbane uh, and Melbourne. You want to go? But you've got to pick the right time. Uh, Australia in the summer is, well, the temperature can fluctuate and there are a lot of flies. A lot of flies. Everywhere you go, you'll be sorting flies off your food, your face. Probably not that much different from Nevada. And the flies are huge. Yeah, bro. The flies are super irritating. They get on my nerves and they're everywhere. We went at the wrong time. I was in Melbourne. Okay, and it's, it's a very nice place. You know, Yarra Valley, wineries and vineyards. The flies. Even in the city. Okay, so that was it. That was... So this is like the audio file floor. 
downstairs you have some uh, wireless products. Uh, but I guess what we can take away from this event is that uh, traditional wired solutions are still quite popular among audiophiles. But more brands are starting to recognize that, hey, you can't just depend on that market. You have to reach out to, across the aisle to people who want more convenient wireless solutions. So I think that's, that's what we can take away from this event. Uh, brands like Foco, who didn't have wireless products last year, now have a range of wireless products. You have one more releasing a slew of products coming in the next couple of months. Even Westone, do you know this brand? Oh yeah, bro. AirPods 2 was a... Uh, well, true wireless earbuds were already quite, quite popular back then. But when AirPods, the first AirPods was released, it really took off. Because then a lot of people, well, because of the branding, the branding that Apple did for the AirPods, so that helped a lot. And... Uh, but it didn't sound very good, and people looked for an alternative to the AirPods, and that's how, that's why other brands, uh, uh, true eyes earbuds from other brands became popular as well. Um, that's my theory. But the AirPods too, wow! I think that one will, that is gonna change the entire industry, radically change the entire industry. What do you think? Do you think? that the AirPods 2 is a revolutionary product. We talked about a lot on this channel, we talked about a lot, talked a lot about the uh, latency, right? So latency is a big issue. Yeah, man. So are you getting the, are you getting the wireless charging case? 79 bucks, you going for that? You know what, the thing about 5.0, uh, 5, okay, people think that, some people think that 5.0 gives you better sound quality. So the thing about 5.0 is, uh, it promises more reliable Bluetooth connection over wider distances, and you could do multi-point. So you could pair to do two different Bluetooth devices at once. So if, so in future, I can see 5.0 being the standard for uh, Internet of Things. You don't need a router. All you need is your, for your device to support 5.0. You can do uh, multi-room streaming and all that, which is really cool. So you're not very sure whether you want to get the, um, the charging case. I think the charging... You know what? I've tried quite a few True Wireless earbuds. I don't really have a favorite yet because I think um, at this point, there's always something that you have to give up. Uh, like with the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless, uh, it would have been great, but the battery life is... But you see the trans... Okay, so... Uh, Suibun. The Suibun, the... The trans transducer, okay, the transducer plays a part, a very important role. But you also got to take into account the deck, the amp, and the source. See, so all these things, uh, which is which brings me back to True Eyes Earbuds. True Eyes Earbuds, they have got much of the elements correct, but I think uh, in terms of source, we still have to see more uh, mobile devices support uh, APTX, APTX HD. Unfortunately, one of the most widespread uh, audio sources out there, aka the iPhone, do not support APTX yet. So they have an ongoing quarrel with Qualcomm, and you know, it's just very ugly. And Qualcomm is not supplying them the chip uh, for APTX. So that's why you have the H1 chip that just came out. Uh, yeah, but we are getting there. We're getting there. Uh, the source part of the equation is still getting better for wireless earbuds and headphones. The uh, transducer part is already there. As far as I'm concerned, uh, even the Samsung Galaxy wireless, uh, sorry, the Samsung Galaxy Buds sounds really good for the price. 130 bucks. 
I know uh, some audio reviewers say that it doesn't sound that good, but I think they are approaching this thing wrong. They've got to consider the price point, and they've got to consider the fact that these are true wireless earbuds. Latency remains an issue when uh, using true wireless earbuds. So do I have a favorite yet? Uh, right now, I can tell you that the BioPlay EA 2.0 the BioPlay EA 2.0 and the Momentum True Wireless, these are the ones to look to look out for. Okay, I want to check out the live chat. Sorry, I might have missed some of your messages because I'm so absorbed into talking about wireless and stuff. How do I? Ah, yes, okay. So, Drew, you asked, do you think Pro Beats Wireless will be much different than AirPods? I think in terms of sound quality, yes. Very different. Uh, the thing about the AirPods, they are, not noi they are not noise isolating. So, what happens is that you don't have a sealed enclosure to trap all that meaty, juicy goodness inside. So bass leaks out and you don't get a very good bass, generally speaking. Uh, coupled with the fact that the AirPods don't have a silicon tip. So what silicon can do is, in the case of uh, not being shoved in your ear, even if silicon is sitting outside your ear, in the crunch of your ear, you will, get, you will generally get better noise isolation than if it were a plastic surface, like the AirPods. So that's what I think, that's my take. So I think the Beats Pro, the Power Beats Pro will sound better than the AirPods 2 for sure. In terms of uh, functions and features, I think they're going to be quite similar. Like I said in my video covering the Power Beats Pro, uh, there, we don't have any more information about it yet. Even the IP rating is a, is a mystery. Yeah. So that's why. I, well, that's why I suggest you do too if you are looking for something noise isolating, just as good as the AirPods in terms of wireless connectivity and latency. Hold out for the Powerbeats Pro, but we don't have any, any information yet when it will come out. Uh, rumors have it that it might be released in the first or second week of April, but we'll have to see about that. Come on, hit me. Give me your questions. Any more questions about earbuds or about Singapore? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, funny that you asked, Drew, because I was supposed to go for lunch with the people who invited me to this event. So, uh, but you know what? My audience comes first and people are like, yeah, so what am I saying? My audience comes first and I got to stream. So I told them that I can't go for lunch with them. Uh, I might be having some cheap fare for lunch. Cheap food noodles or something. I know a place. <laughs> You see, even for questions off the top of your head, I dedicate so much effort in answering. <laughs> you guys are really important to me, that's why. When will the new... Okay, so Jill, J. Willy, so FG asks, when will the new JBL wireless earbuds drop? Uh, I've been trying to get the information out of them too. In Singapore, they're saying that it might drop in the third quarter. And that's like so far off. So I don't think I'll be able to do a review so soon. In the US though, it might be earlier. In the US, maybe quarter, second quarter. Noodles, okay, there's this Singaporean dish called uh, Mipo. Yes, exactly. Why is it taking so long, right? I don't know, but this is the way that JBL does things. Uh, 
they announced the JBL Charge 4 at IFA last year. That was the last year in August. It's not arrived in Singapore yet. <laughs> it's seriously, it's... Ah. Yeah, sweet bone, 20 bucks is expensive. Uh, but I was able to... I was able to come in as a journalist. Is there anything coming out soon that is going to blow your mind? Rumors? Um, if there's anything, I will share with you guys for sure. Just like I did with the AirPods, uh, the Powerbeats Pro. So don't worry, if I have any secret behind the scenes news, you'll be the first to know. New technology, not at, off the top of my head. I can't think of anything. Folding headphones are not new though. Not exactly revolutionary. I mean, there's only 1000 XM3 you can fold. If you want folding headphones, go for those. But, uh, have you done a review on the uh, Audio Technica True Wireless uh, the Sonic Sport? You know what? I haven't reviewed those. They've been in the market for a long time because, okay, here's the thing. When I make review videos, one of the uh, factors that I think about Oh, you mean folding phones? Oh, okay. Folding phones... I talked a bit, a bit about folding phones a few months ago. I was actually responding to MKBHD. So, I sort of agreed with him that folding phones aren't really... I mean, what's the use of, what's the use of it? You have a tablet-like uh, interface which folds into a smaller smartphone interface. And the aspect ratio, the apps uh, for it, the okay, the aspect ratio of folding phones, I don't like it. I also don't like the there aren't many apps. The, the fact that there aren't many apps developed for it yet. Okay, so let's go back to the question about the Audio Technica uh, Sonic Sport. It's not a new product, and one of the features that I one of the factors that I think about one of the factors that I think about when I review products is if it's newsworthy so the newer the product the better and the, the Audio Technica's not very new and have you seen the case? it's huge so I don't know I might try them as an off the cuff thing but to do an in-depth review we'll have to see about that Isn't it too early to go into wireless audiophile grade? Yes, I think the scene right now for wireless headphones, earbuds, uh, is more targeted towards mass consumers. Audiophiles, well, you may have to wait a little bit more to get a pair that really... I mean, of course, you have APTX HD and headphones that support that, uh, like the Sennheiser, like Sennheiser headphones. The Momentum True Wireless earbuds I reviewed recently supports low latency. APTX is low latency. I think Siri is a dead product. Man. Like personally, I don't use Siri that much unless if I, unless for features that I, uh, okay, so what I use Siri for is to activate uh, shortcuts in my phone. And uh, the thing about Siri is it doesn't tie in very well with apps like YouTube. So when I say, when I tell Siri, hey, I want to watch a video by NKBHD, Siri doesn't do that, right? Google Assistant will do that for you. So I think Google Assistant is a much more powerful voice assistant compared to Siri. At least that's what I think. Will, will Siri improve? I don't know. I think Apple probably should do a massive overhaul of Siri or just kill it off and release another, another voice assistant.
when do you think Bose will come up with another pair of true ISG buds? I don't know. Bose has always been super secretive about their product launches. Like, okay, so if you look at the Bose Soundsport Wireless Free, Soundsport Free Wireless, that one was released, I believe it was in 2017 or 2018, 2017. So it might be a while yet before they release another pair. They are known for like waiting a few years before releasing another product. <laughs> so a new True Eyes earbuds from Bose, not so soon. But if they do release one, it better have better latency performance, man. Bose headphones. Oh, so you have them. And they like on video. Oh, the lag is horrible. Oh my god. Okay, so I tried them when they first came out in Singapore. And the very first... Okay, so I thought they sounded good. But they lag like hell when I played video. And I think they'll be even worse. I don't know. So I thought... At first I thought that they only support SBC and that's why. But it appears that they support AEC too. So I don't know what... Maybe the extra sound processing and the signal chain is just... You know... Okay, another pair of earbuds that has terrible latency is the Sony WF-1000X. Okay. Websites, websites like What Hi-Fi rave about them and say that they are one of the best, but I disagree so much. Okay, they sound good. Noise cancelling, not, not as good as the 1000X M3. But my beef with them is the latency. The latency is so bad, it's like one second behind the audio, and that's bad. So signal path has got to do with it. The longer the signal path, of course, the the worse the lag. So I feel that they should uh, they should give up on that wireless noise cancelling product. It's just not good. Not good for audio uh, lag, and not good for even the noise cancelling is not that good as well. So they should just kill it off and release a new pair entirely. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm scrolling through the comments, trying to see if there's anything that I missed. No. So, uh, so uh, I don't know what to call you, Jay Will, Jay Willy. Shall I call you Willy? Okay, Willy. Uh, the Galaxy Buds settings only. JVU, okay, so JVU, the Galaxy Bud settings will not carry over to iOS or any other device. First of all, it's got to be an, if you do the settings, it's got to be an Android phone. So, and you need the app, the wearable app. Uh, the thing is, when you carry, when you carry the connection over to, the, to an iOS device, the settings will not stay because you will need to have the app on iPhone as well. And iOS, currently, the app is not available on iOS. So if you are on an Android phone and you want to use the same settings on iOS or any other device, it doesn't work. Because Samsung has decided to be a bitch not releasing the, the app on iOS. Yeah, don't tell Samsung I said that. I mean, they, it would have been a much more successful product if they had released the app on iOS. So simple. And they... Why? Why Samsung? In fact, that's one of the reasons why, you know, uh, I think... You know what? The Galaxy Buds would have been the best wireless earbuds out there till, till date. But no app on iOS and the battery life is you know, 13 hours in total, not that great. Otherwise, I would have happily given it that, that accolade of being the best. So it's, for now, BO Play EA 2.0 and Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless are what I consider to be some of the best wireless earbuds out there. True Wireless.
scrolling through and trying to see if I missed out on anyone's comments. I play video games. In fact, I'm a... Uh... Okay, what I do during my free time, I play video games when I have free time, and I read books. I am a big fan of the Witcher books. I'm halfway through the entire series. Uh, games, I play a lot of Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter World. So, so I'm on PSN if you want to add me up. Uh, I'll just type in my... Can I even type here? Okay, if you want to add me up on PSN, it's A-Y-R-A-K Iraq So I'm there and yeah I stream sometimes, I stream games But <laughs> don't watch my streams, they are very boring I'm not like Ninja Best true wireless earbuds, hundred bucks to one hundred fifty dollars go. Right now the Sam okay, so the Samsung Galaxy buds easily hundred between hundred bucks and hundred fifty bucks. I would say go for the Samsung Galaxy buds, even if it doesn't have an iOS app. I mean, just consider the sound quality alone, uh, the wireless charging, the USB C, and its battery life is. For that price point, actually, it's, okay, I wouldn't say it's great, but it's average. Uh, but compare it to similar earbuds out there. Okay, maybe a close contender would be the JBL 3X. Go for that. 24-hour battery life. SBC codec, yes. But it's got pretty decent sound quality. And the battery life is just insane for the price. Let's just be frank. Write a book. I, I'm a decent writer. I'm not saying that I don't write. I write articles for some tech sites, but a book is a different thing. Um, maybe. You know what? Maybe when, when I'm old and grey and sitting by a beach, you know, I might write a book. <laughs> but my preferred mode of communication is through video. Are you a writer, Drew? So JBL, uh, hey, thanks, man. Wow, it is the first time in a long while that someone has said I'm handsome. Okay, except my wife, but you know, thanks, thanks for that. I'm someone who likes bass, and I'm in the market for true eyes earbuds, which have the best bass. Okay, the JBL 3X has much better bass than the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Last year. Oh, was there a connection issue? Was there a connection from? Oh my god. Hello? Yeah, man. Can you still hear me? I shifted the camera outside. Oh my god, what's happening? You know what? Okay, let me just fire up. Let me close the app. Sorry, my god. <laughs> 